When there's talk of troops in Helmand, Afghanistan, it's often British or American who are mentioned. The province is also home, however, for hundreds of Georgian soldiers. You don't see the enemy. This is the most difficult part. And for any soldiers, it's a difficult part because they are aiming your most weak and important part, it's your leg with ideas and you maybe you will serve six, seven months here and you, will, you won't be able to see your enemy face to face. The Georgians are based in southern Musakala, a district which has seen a lot of fighting over the past few years. They're sandwiched between the US Marines in the north and the Marines in the south in Sangin. They spread themselves across a number of different camps. Now the soldiers up on the post just up there have got a great vantage point from here. They can see the stretch of the Helmand River behind me here, the south of Musakala just at the bottom of these hills, and Sangin just over the water. By them putting pressure to the north, they actually assist the district of Musakala by, by squeezing the enemy into a little box below the Marines and above the Georgians. From here, you can see the American base in Sangin. The grounded balloon is equipped with cameras and normally flies high in the sky, giving the Afghan and ISAF forces an eye on the ground below. On the Musakala side of the water, the Georgians work with the Afghan army, manning checkpoints, searching locals and any vehicles which drive by. The Georgians are used to conventional warfare, not counterinsurgency, where efforts are centred on building up local authorities. The problem with Musakala is that there isn't much here in the way of local governance or so-called Jiroa. That's why we're here there. We will bring the local governments. That's, it's the first step because a couple of years ago it was a completely Talib country. Now it's gradually going under the Jiroa um, influence. And we are there to help the Jiroa to come to establish their post, the civilian government, the NP, ANA. It's, it's very important. It's a part of the coin. One of the Georgian camps sits on land that used to be occupied by a Russian infantry battalion during the Soviet invasion. Their former trenches are still very visible. There's a lot of, quite a lot of the legacy mines, which are because Soviets just put mines everywhere, especially on the forward slope, trying to create some kind of mine ambushes or some uh, obstacles so the Mujahideens will not come over their places. So, as you can see, now we're using the strange works for our defensive works. For one of the Georgian soldiers, it's his third deployment to Afghanistan. His first two trips he made in the 70s and 80s, fighting with the Russian army. It's not just Helmand where the Georgians are deployed, they're also in neighbouring provinces.